drop the puck tonight. You can feel the intensity of this one. Total playoff atmosphere. We're underway. Here's a shot. Glove save. Lots of time left in this period. The game is still scoreless. New York's got a hold of the puck. Quick pass to Horvath. The Islanders move it in. Fires it. Too many bodies in the way. There's the whistle. We'll get a face-off after the goalie covers up. And with the centers tied up, he swoops in to take possession. Handles the puck. For point blank. Point blank stop by Kachetov. That's a fantastic save by the goaltender, but his team has to do a better job of protecting the middle of the ice. Those high danger scoring chances eventually go in. The Islanders take possession here inside the offensive zone. Stoppage in play as the puck goes up and over. We'll get a face off. <laughs> New York's won the draw, and they'll go to work. Oh, tremendous reflexes with the glove by Kachetkov! Coach, they can't just teach this. This is instinctual, and this is what winners are made of. Snatches the puck with a two sentiment locked up. And a good save on the play as action continues. Down the left wing, across into the offensive end. And that's broken up in the defensive zone by Hogan. And that's off a stick. The Hurricanes gain control of the puck against the wall. Looking to make something happen along the boards. New York's gained the line and into the zone. Jostling for the puck, and he loses control. Carolina's got it in their own zone. And he slides it quickly to Romanov. Puts it on net. Here's a shot. And he stags that one with the club. Lots of time left in this period. We've still got zeros on the board. Back underway as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. Here's a short pass to pull up. With the blast! Nowhere for that shot to go through. Slittering P! New York's got possession of the puck. Moves it to Pajot. Tries to get the puck to Palmieri. Takes the shot. Steps it for the one-timer and makes the save. won it off the faceoff. Inside the offensive end now down the left. Receives the pass. Too much congestion blocks the shot. Goaltender covers up and will get a faceoff. So the puck goes up and out of play. 50 -50. The Islanders win it. Quick feed to Holmstrom. 
And that's out of reach and out of the offensive zone. Setting up behind his own net now. Can't get a hold of that pass. Takes the feed at center for the right wing. Carolina's game possession along the boards. Passes over to Ajo. Inside's digging in for that puck along the wall. Takes the puck at the point. Keeps possession. Good, solid check, and he loses control of it. Plenty of playing time left in this frame. Still scoreless in this one. New York's won the draw inside the offensive zone. Now let's see what they can do with it. Huge stop right for Chetov! Well, this is a really great save, James. I mean, you can see that he's battling for position. You can see him moving up and down as his eyes are trying to track and find the puck. That's really working your opponent and finding a way to make the save. Chatfield. Streaking into the attacking zone for the right. Sends the pass in front. And that's intercepted. Slides it up to Barzell. And now he moves it to Horvath. Coughs it up at center. Sends a pass over. Here's a blast. And that doesn't reach the net. And he takes the dish. And now it's grabbed by Pellick. Handles the pass in the right wing. Chatfield's lugging the puck. Gains the zone on the left wing. And he takes the feed. The Islanders take it across the line. Moves it quickly over to Clutterbuck. Backtracks with the puck, but maintains possession. From the point, they take control of it. Way too much congestion blocks that. New York's got the puck in the defensive end. Up along the wall on the right side and into the attacking area. And the goalie covers up for the whistle. Centers are lined up and we are ready to resume. They win the faceoff here in their own end and take possession. The Hurricanes are on the attack. The Islanders have it against the wall. Quick pass over to Clutterbuck. The Hurricanes get a hold of the puck in the open ice. Carolina's got him along the wall. Stones him in the one-timer! More than half the frame has been played here. Still no score in this one. Offense is on face off and he wins the draw. Oh, and gets a piece of it with the glove. New York's in now. Slides it quickly to Ajo. At center ice now, he grabs the puck. Fires it into the offensive zone. And they continue to fight for that puck along the wall. Quick pass to Tara Biden. And now he tries to get it across to Svechnikov. And that's offside, stopping the play. And off the draw at center, they take control of the puck. And they keep the pressure on. The Islanders move the puck in the defensive zone. Here's a short pass to Pajo. New York's in on the offensive attack now. Bunting's got it in the offensive zone. Off a stick and they can't collect. Playing big in the moment there. Lee's got a hold of the puck behind the net. Scooped up along the wall by Riley. And that's off a stick. The Hurricanes gain possession along the wall. Stops him with the ball. Ref blows the whistle as the puck's covered up. And both centers glide into the dot as a face-off set to resume. The Hurricanes win the draw. 
Slavin's taking it from his own end. Carolina's got the puck against the boards. Answers the call big time. What a stop by Sorokin. Kellick's a solid player in the D zone, guys. His stick em up zone ability means he can use a timely poke check to disrupt his opponent's attack. Can they take advantage after winning that draw? Takes a hit, he goes down to the ice and coughs up the puck. Pellets across the line now and on the attack in the offensive end. Denies him, he got all of it. Picked up along the boards by Martinuk. Carolina's got the puck against the half wall. The Islanders will play it from the defensive zone. Puck dumped in. The Hurricanes gain control of the puck. Here they come inside the neutral zone. Oh, excellent use of the stick as he knocks that one away. Can't keep a hold of it as he's jostled off the puck. New York's got it in their own zone. And they'll dump it in. Carolina's got the puck along the wall. Grabbed along the board by Pesci. And that's knocked away. The Hurricanes gain possession in their own end. Moves the puck up to Ajo. With possession along the wall. And that pass is redirected. New York's got it along the wall. Here they come on the attack. And that's broken up. New York's got the puck near the back end. Takes a wrist shot. Oh, what a stop on the play. Gets all of it with the paddle. Holmstrom's the victim of a slash, and the official caught that. We got a penalty coming up. Well, he's going to get the slashing call here, James, and it's a stick infraction. What that means is you're in a vulnerable spot. Why? Your opponent has gained position on you. New York's man advantage unit will take to the ice for the first time tonight. An opportunity here to go up by one on the power play. You know they've worked on this in practice. It's something you do, your repetition. This is what prepares you to be big in these moments. Long jam and oh, that's broken up. Pameri's made a fantastic play, James, and he's falling to the ice. He's got the puck on his stick, and he still has the ability to lower that bottom hand and find a way to redirect the puck to the net. I mean, that's tenacity, that's courage, and finding a way to compete and will your way to the net. Carries it into the offensive end up the middle. Here's a shot. Blocked in traffic. Trying to get the puck out of his own end. And the puck is cleared. Well, you can see the entire PK unit. Their heads are on a swivel, straight line skating, and they're able to get that puck. And because they're looking and aware, they're able to find the white ice and get it 200 feet down. And the puck leaves the zone. Moves it to Paul Mary. Picked up along the wall by Vorbeck. Tremendous score. Scores! They convert on the power play and get it done. And it's so important when you're on the power play to have precise execution of your passes and you're able to move the coverage that's exactly what they did and they're able to convert that's a beautiful finish but i'm telling you he's got to go over to his teammate and say thank you very much for that beautiful pass i mean it was placed perfectly on his stick he didn't have much time to react but he could collect it and he found a way to put it home the islanders take a one nothing lead here in the late goings of period number one this is a huge goal momentum wise isn't it well yeah james if you score a goal at the beginning of a period or at the end it really sets the tone and temperature for your team and it also puts your opponent back on their heels and that's exactly what you wanted to happen but now that the game is wide open you're heading into intermission so that's going to give both teams an opportunity to reset you got to find a way to continue to push in that second period late goings of this period We've got a 1-0 hockey game thus far. Grabs the puck and looks to make something happen. Quick feed to Horvath. And now he moves it quickly to Pollock. Oh, makes the save! That was a rocket! The Islanders have created a lot of scoring chances so far, and they lead it late in this first period. The Hurricanes win the defensive zone faceoff. The Islanders scoop it up along the boards. First period nearly in the books here. The Islanders have it in the offensive zone. Quick shot and the save. Goaltender covers it up and we'll get a reset here. 
minutes away from the faceoff. Let's get back to the action. Carolina's won the draw. Slides the puck across to Jarvis. Just misses. Sometimes when you have the puck on your stick in a primetime scoring area, it's not about threading the needle. And when you try and thread it, sometimes you miss. And that's what happened there. Right up the gut into the attacking zone. And he hangs on to the puck. Slides it over a piece to Thompson. The lane was plugged up and that shot's blocked. And he hangs on just as time runs out. First period is in the books. The next 20 minutes is on deck next here on EA Sports. Please keep the aisles clear during gameplay and wait for a break in the action to leave or return to your seat. Selection. They know exactly where they want to go, when they're going to do it, and they're driving the net. With the stop. Dobson's moving the puck to his own zone. Quick shot. Oh, an unbelievable stop by Pachetko. Let's get the call. Well, it's pretty obvious that it's a two-minute minor, but he certainly didn't like it, James. He's going to contest it, but guess what? The official ain't listening. make sure that you're getting a high percentage shooting shot and that's exactly what they did earlier on the 1-3-1 where they were able to capitalize to the opening up lanes getting the well you can't do that or you're going to find your way marching over to the box play whistle dead penalty coming up Pachot's called for tripping he's off to the box A little four-on-four four coming up here. A few ways to play a four-on-four. Four. You can sit back or you can be very aggressive on the puck. But you have to make sure that you're aware as well. There's more on set there for your opponent, too. Take it along the wall by Lee. Nelson's got it through the neutral zone. He's got a step to the line on the breakaway. Oh, he came up clutch there. Well, he really did. At any time that you're one-on-one, -on -one, you got to beat the shooter, and that's exactly what he does. Center ice. Looking to make something happen in the offensive zone. Oh, hey, scores! And the scratching and climb is paid off as we are back to even. Well, we're back to even, James. I really like their game. I mean, when you're pushing and you're trying to find a way to get ahead and on top, you have to trust the process. That's exactly what they've done, and they've been rewarded for it. This is exactly why you send bodies to the front of the net, James. You want to create a screen, and the goaltender drops into the butterfly position as a default and is battling to find the puck. Can't find it and beats him clean. The Hurricanes have made this a whole new game in period number two. The difference in a close game is often the details, James, and this is a group that have worked hard. They've had good habits, and they find themselves tied. Nelson's run the draw center. The Islanders played a little for the desperation save, the complete, the will to keep that puck. Look at this, two on one. Passes it over. Oh, it stayed up. Oh, my goodness, what a stop. Still plenty of time left in this frame. We got a tie game. Play 
resumes here as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. Turns it aside with a glove. We'll get a face-off after the puck stays covered up. Svechnikov's a player to watch if you want to see a highlight real play. He's great at lacrosse-style puck handling, and he's able to scoop it up and throw it on net or pass it over for an assist. I just really hope we get to see that tonight. Poked away in the neutral zone by Burns. Carolina's got a hold of it against the wall. Slides the puck over. And now he angles it across to Ajo. The Islanders look to start the transition game. Moves it quickly over to Pajo. Scooped up along the wall by Riley. Oh, and he somehow got a little piece of it, and it stays out of the net. A timely save is everything to your team, and this goaltender, he bails his team out. Quick pass to Bunting. Oh, love the defensive stick work there to poke that one away. Here's a short pass to Slavin. Scores! The go-ahead goal puts them in front. And now they're in front, James, so they'll have some energy. You know that the first few strides will be more urgent, but they'll have to be accountable on the other side of the puck as well. I don't think there's a single goaltender in the league that's going to catch up to that shot, James. I mean, the puck just explodes off the stick. Carolina's push here in the second is paying off as they now lead by one. Well, you can certainly see the energy shift in the bench and the coaching staff talking to the team about continuing to push, keep the pedal to the metal here. While you have your opponent down, you got to attack. The Islanders looking against the half wall. Oh, and he stopped that rocket. The Hurricanes will play it in their own end. Great hand-eye coordination as he gets the puck back. Moves it to Thompson. Directs it on over to Engvall. Along the half wall with the puck. Takes a shot. Comes up with the stop. Oh, aggressive move as he pucks it away. Goaltender covers up. We got a stoppage in play. We haven't even hit the midway mark of the period. The Hurricanes have taken the lead here over the last few minutes. They'd love to build on it. Carolina's taken possession in their own end. Puck grab by Stahl. Gaining momentum along the wing. Tosses the puck loose. And it's a quick pass to Martin. McLean's got it against the boards. Yes. And we are tied. New game here, Pounder. Oh, yeah, it's a new game, James. Uh, but I really like the pushback to get the equalizer. Now it's what they do with that momentum. This next shift, it's critical. Well, he's in tight to the net, James, and he knows that he's not going to have much time or space to get it off, so he elects to use the snapshot and beats the goaltender. Officials getting ready to drop the puck to get play back underway. Carolina's won the draw in the neutral zone. Great use of the body to knock him off the puck. Pulak's going to play it against the half wall. Nice save from point blank range. Picked up along the boards by Martin. Quick pass to Jarvis. Great use of the stick at center by Romanov. He got all of that hit. Taken by Stahl. Feeds the puck across to Jarvis. to a safe spot. The Hurricanes are finding that little extra pep in their step here in the second period and have taken a one-goal lead as a result. Well, they break the deadlock, and that's huge. Now you're playing in front, but I think this face-off and the shift that ensues is critical, James. Now you got your opponent right where you want him. You're back on their heels. Take advantage and try and get another one. The Islanders have it now. Moves the puck to Romano. Nice pass back. Here's a great use of the stick right there to poke it away. Tries to feed it over to Faust. Holmstrom stick handling in his own zone. 
feeds the puck over to Sezikis. Here's a chance. Oh, how did he get a glove on that? What a stop by Kachetkov. The Islanders have had a lot of good looks offensively, but they still trail in the second. Sezikis has got possession. Let's see what they can do with it now. That opportunity is rejected. Great positioning by the goaltender to redirect it to the corner, getting it out of danger. Now a quick pass to Pesci. And he takes the feed. Knocked around, but keeps it going. Fires it into the offensive zone. Pesci's got it in the defensive end. Streaking through center, they go on the attack. Good defensive stop with the poke check. Moves the puck over to Engvall. Through the neutral zone up along the wing. Dumps it in. Carolina's got a hold of the puck. Exploring options here inside the defensive zone. From off the wall and onto a stick. Driving right to the front. And he elects to explore his options. Quick feed to Chatfield. The score! Some goal, James. I mean, not in terms of his prettiness, but the desperation and effort to keep the play alive. He's falling to the ice. He's able to get his stick on it and move it over to the open player, and he's able to cash it in. Now, listen, I'm telling you right now, coaches love this. They'll bottle this up. They'll video it. They'll show it again tomorrow. Why? This is what effort looks like. Puck picked up by Dodson. The Islanders carried along the wall. Carolina's got a hold of the puck now. They're picking up steam through the neutral zone. Oh, he throws down an intergalactic hit there. Uh, and they have to be keeping their heads up here. I mean, you know exactly what he's going to be doing when he gets on the ice. He's throwing a ton of hits so far. Gains the zone. Great hit on the play. Good hit to pump him off the puck. Scrum along the wall. Grabbed along the boards by Pulak. One side save. And he loses control here. He grabs the puck here at the floor. Oh, to Bison with the paddle save. New York's looking to break out. Pass it up ahead. Slides it all over to Stahl. Right through center and into the offensive zone. And he slides it quickly to Slavin. Great save by Sorokin. Good fight for the puck along the boards. Picked up along the wall by Pulak. Here's an old man rush. And the puck dies with the trapper save. Past the halfway mark of this period, the Hurricanes lead it 4-2. And with the centers tied up, he swoops in to take possession. Puts it on net. Nice save off the tender's pad. And the puck stopper jumps on top of it to get a stoppage in play. The Islanders have time to work with, but they need to convert on one of these scoring chances as they are trailing here in the second. Nice start winning the draw here inside the offensive zone. Nice bank pass off the boards. Carolina's got the puck inside the defensive zone. Here they come up along the wing. And a stick in the lane ends that threat. Oh, the ref didn't like that whack. Let's see what the official makes for the final decision. The Hurricanes are getting penalized for slashing. The Islanders send their men advantage unit out once more. Well, they've worked on this setup in practice on the power play. It's already worked for them this evening, James. You can certainly see the confidence that they have in this particular setup. And man, is it ineffective. Taken along the wall by Dodson. New York's playing it through the neutral zone. And a poke check knocks the puck away. 
New York's trying to make something happen in the offensive zone. Answered the call there. Moves it quickly over to Engvall. And that's knocked away by Burns. The Islanders have it now. Skates across the blue line. He might have a step here. Into the offensive zone. A shot. Oh, my goodness. What a save there. Drury is ready for the draws. They will continue to try to kill off this penalty. The Hurricanes will go to work here in the offensive zone. Both sides mixed up for that battle for the puck along the wall. Quick pass to Drury. Taken here by Shea. Scores! Rips it off the pipe and into the net. Wow! Almost needed a double take there, James. When you hear that sound, sometimes you think it's out, but this one goes in. This play does not happen without that beautiful pass, James. It's all about reading where the coverage is and knowing exactly how your teammate can skate onto that puck. And when you skate onto it, you have some speed. You can get that shot off the way you want, and he capitalizes perfectly. New York's had their opportunities, but they still trail late in this second period. And they win that draw center. The Islanders' man advantage comes to an end and not the result they were looking for, giving up a shorty. Made the stop on the play. Sometimes when you're on a power play, you can get caught cheating, and I think you have a lot more time than you do, and it winds up on the back of their net. That's a tough one. Scores! And look at this! Suddenly, they're right back into it! I really like their response here, James. They're able to capitalize on the opportunity, and it gets them within two, and this two-goal deficit, it almost feels like there's a little hope now in the game, and if they can get one more, you'll recognize that the momentum will completely shift. New York's not out of the woods just yet, not by a long shot, but at least they've made it a game, Cheryl. They've made it a game, and they aren't out of the woods, but they can figure out a way to get out of them, and that's one shift at a time, and they can start right there with a the goal. Good use of the body on the play. Shea's got the puck in his own zone. Knocked away by Romanov. Quick feed to pull up. Directed over to Barzell. New York's in transition. Sends the pass over. Oh, he made the save! How did he stop it? I have no idea, James. I mean, he was down and out, but profound athleticism and desperation got him back in to make it. The goaltender, they have to have talent, they have to have mobility, and they have to be able to track the puck, but they have to have a willingness to find it and fight for any second shot, and that's exactly what happens here. Out battling, out willing, and you make the save. Just here in the late stages of this frame, New York still behind the eight balls. They trail by two goals. Passes on over to Jarvis. Here's a short pass to Martinick. He says, let's get physical on that play. Moves it to Romanov. Takes the feed. And that's poked away by Shea. Tries to get the puck over to Romanov. Off the left wing and into center. Jostled off the puck. going to count. The official waved it off immediately. Oh, boy. Face-off coming up, and you can tell there's still a little frustration in their faces after that non-goal call. New York's won the draw, and they take possession here in the open ice. Scooped up along the wall by Paul Mary. Carolina's got the puck along the boards. From along the walls, they're gaining momentum. And now he passes it to Pasho. There's a collision along the boards, and there's a whistle from the officials as the pane of glass is cracked. Uh, remember back in the day, James, the thunder is hit, and all of a sudden the glass would explode or shatter them. Not anymore, and that's a good thing. So there's not as much cleanup. They just have to replace the pane. New York's goal scorers need to find a way to finish on some of these chances as they continue to trail here late in this middle frame. Fires it on net, and the goaltender comes up with a piece of it to keep it out of the net. Big save just as time runs out. 
There's the buzzer, two periods down, one more to go. They always say three is the magic number. And we've got period number three next. And thank you for supporting minor league hockey in your community. Teams are lined up and they are ready to get this third period underway. No shortage of offensive highlights in this one. Let's see if that carries over here as we are underway in the third. Well, two periods down. Here we go with the third period. Cheryl, your assessment so far. The Hurricanes continue to lead in this third period, but the question is for how long, James? I mean, this has been a back and forth game of offense. I don't know. I wouldn't like to play in this game because I was all defense, and there's none of it tonight. Knocks the puck down with a stick. New York's got it in their own zone. Odd man rush. Takes the puck. Nelson's taking a nasty whack, and that's going to draw a penalty. And the puck stopper tags his man to get the extra attacker on the ice. Let's get the call here. Well, you can see him shaking his head and arguing with the official, James, but they're not changing their mind. This is the penalty. Another power play opportunity coming up here. Power play has just been average tonight, James, but hey, it hasn't been in the basement, right? New York's won the draw, no go to work. And that shot goes nowhere as the lane was filled. Puck cleared from the defensive end. And he slides it quickly to Lee. Good defensive effort to poke it away. Puck clears the zone. Slick feed. Shot! Oh, he had that corner, but he puts it off the outside of the post. New York's been working hard all game. A reason why they're still in it, and they had an opportunity to cut the deficit, but goes off the pipe and out. Moved up ahead. Puck scooped up by Lee. Denies him with the save. Under all sorts of pressure. And he gets the job done. Big thumbs up clearing that one. Picked up along the boards by Pulak. The Islanders get nothing here on this power play. We're back to even strength. You know how you change an average PK? You kill the next one, and they did a good job there of getting in shot lanes and getting it 200 feet down the ice. Oh, just a textbook hit. Carolina's on the attack. Angles it over to Pesci. Oh, answers back with the stop on the one-timer. Lots of time left in this period. Carolina's got a two-goal cushion here. They lead it 5-3. Gains possession with both centers all tied up in the draw. Shot! Here's a shot! And it's stopped by the glove. Nice play there. The Islanders have time on their side despite trailing early in this third period. They have put a lot of shots on goal. Now they need to finish. Horvath's won the draw here and they'll go on the attack. The Hurricanes gain possession. Pushes it across to Slavin. Wax it into the offensive zone. Puck sent over to Pulak. Quick feed to Horvath. Beautiful read in the defensive end by Ajo. Oh, textbook poke check to turn that over. Long lead pass into the open ice. Break away. Here's a chance in front. And he denies that great opportunity there. Scrum along the boards as they battle for the puck. Gets the full use of his stick on the poke check. Barzal's determination on the puck, even though he stumbled and has a lack of balance, really shows right there, James, as he finds a way to get that pass through to the shooter. Puck is frozen and will get a face-off. New York's failed to convert on scoring opportunities and lots of them here in this third period. Oh, and he takes possession of the puck from off the wing with the centers all locked up there off the draw. Back to the blue line. Gets it 
front of it for the block. On the attack into the offensive end, right up the gut. Flushes the weather, what a save by Sorokin. Still lots of time left here in this frame. Carolina's got all sorts of content for the highlight shows tonight. They lead at 5-3. And he's knocked off the puck there. Beautiful block shot by the defender. And that banks off a stick. Oh, big time hit along the wall. And this is why I'm glad I'm up here in a suit, Cheryl. And I'm right there with you, James. I wouldn't want to be along those boards either. It almost looked like he left his feet early, but nonetheless, it's a bone crusher. Look at this down the right wing. They're on the attack. And that's poked away. Takes a moment behind the net. Moves it quickly over to Nelson. Smart defensive play here in the open ice. The Islanders take it along the wall. Moves it to the middle. And that's stopped. Quick pass to Holmstrom. Here's a chance. Teams are set. We'll drop the puck here. Off the draw, they take possession. The Hurricanes cross the blue line and are on the attack. Slides it diagonally to Pajo. He carries the puck up along the wing. Here's a shot and makes the save. Here's a shot. Oh, and another big stop. Works it across to Riley. Center of the A blast! And he's going to pounce on it for the whistle and get a stoppage in play and much needed at that. I can't overstate how timely important that this cover is, James. When you're on your heels and you're chasing the game, you need a reset button. Goaltender allows it to happen. Offense is on face off and he wins the draw. Well, I really like the effort on this goal, James. He shows a knack for the net and being real hard and heavy on his stick as he's able to put that rebound in the net. Goaltender's got to clean that up, though. That one got kicked right back out. New York's got to be feeling good about themselves now, making this a one-goal game. Bench is up, and stick taps all the way around, getting within one goal in the third period. You know how important this face-off is to get possession and start attacking in the ozone. And that carries off a body in traffic. On the attack along the boards. Moves the puck down low. Here's a short pass to Shea. And that's a smart heads-up play by Pichon. And now he moves it quickly to Riley. Fires it! Stopped by the goaltender, getting a piece of that one. Pesci's loving the puck. Moves it to Stahl. Moves into the slot! Just gets enough to keep it out. Stahl's falling to the ice, James, and he still has the capacity and the wherewithal to understand exactly where everyone is on the ice. I mean, that's an effective distributor to be able to get that pass off. And it's a quick pass to Pesci. Here's a shot. All sorts of pressure here in the offensive end. They are really applying the squeeze. And they go the other way as they clear the zone. Takes the pass. From behind the net. Off his stick. Big save by the goaltender. And they'll get a breather as the goaltender covers it up. Past the midway mark of the frame. New York's still down a goal here, but they have really picked up the tempo these last few minutes. And he takes the pass. Oh, great save and a beauty on the play. Oh, he goes off the glove and he keeps it out. Carolina's got the puck in the defensive end. I don't think anybody was hanging on to the puck after that hit. Parcells got the puck. Back to the point they set it up. Stops the rocket of a shot. Rocked him in the open ice. Along the wing, up the neutral zone. Ajo's got the puck now in his own end. Quick 
feed to Carolina. Tenacious battle for the puck along the wall. And it's freed up over to his teammate with a nice kick pass. And uses the length of his stick to knock that puck away. Slots up from the point. Way too high. Well, he looks to get this one off quickly and just gets up under the puck. And that one sails right over the net. Moves it quickly over to Holmstrom. Into the offensive end, right up the middle. Puck picked up by Engvall. And the puck stopper hangs on to get a breather here for the team. A big draw looming here in the offensive zone. They win the draw and go on the attack. Takes the shot. Misses. Right in front. Fantastic save. What a fantastic save from a high danger scoring area, James. I mean, he's bailing his team out. They have to do a better job of protecting the middle of the ice. The Islanders have been the busier team in the offensive zone, but they still trail in the third. And sneaks in there on the tie-up and comes up with the puck. Quick pass to Slavin. Coming down the left wing and into the zone. Here's a chance at front. And that goes off a stick. Jabs the puck away. Here's a short pass. Scores! And the bunch of jerks are limited tonight! I love the confidence he had to take this shot, James, but it's because his hip was up. He recognized he had the lane through the traffic jam and beat the goaltender. New York's been very active offensively tonight, but they just have not been able to finish on their scoring chances here late in the third. And after the draw center, they've got a hold of the puck. Grabs control of it at the point. Sends it quickly to Horvath. Along the boards, they battle for the puck. And now he passes up to Tara Heinen. A little dipsy doodle, and he loses possession of the puck. Tara such a great player, James. He's got great hands and in tight skill, but just that extra move there, it's a tricky one, and he gets lost in it. Moves the puck. Carolina's got control of it now from their own end. Svechnikov's got it along the wing. The Islanders get a hold of the puck along the boards. Here they come on the attack. Centering pass in front. Oh, he comes up with a stop. Covers it up and will get a stoppage in play. Let's get our third member of the broadcast team back in here, our own Carlin Bade. What you got going on? the upper hand in this battle, guys. His scoring prowess was on display, and it's a big reason why I'm giving him the edge here. Carolina's got it in their own zone. They go on the attack from the left side. Now a quick pass to Pajo. Quick stop! Big save in front. Love the way the goaltender gets tight to the shooter here. The puck's in the low slot. You want to take away time, you want to take space? Goaltender does it, makes the save. Well, a huge face-off coming up here. Well, you know that you want to gain possession and you want to keep the pressure on because the goaltender is the only one who can change, and he is the most fatigued guy on the ice. So you want to find ways to get some net front presence, get shots through the net, because, man, he needs a rest. This is a frustrating situation, James, just taking a whack load of penalties and really unable to get any momentum in this game because they're shorthanded the whole time. Power play unit puts their hard hats on as they go back to work. Power play has just been average tonight, James. Not been really awful, but certainly hasn't been great. But that's the good part. We can make a difference right now. Bunting's taking it from his own end. And they clear that puck. Looking to break out here on the power play. Quick pass across to Pajo. Moves the puck along the half wall. Here's a chance to get it out. New York's trailing, that's why they've got the extra attacker out on the ice and the goalie on the bench. And he slides it quickly to Engvall. Sends it into the offensive zone. Grabbed along the board by Nelson. Dismissed that chance. 
They clear the zone. Slides the pass over to Ingvall. Moves it to Nelson. A skilled use of the stick to put the ball oh. Scores! And they strike once again with the extra attacker. Wow, this has been a potent power play. And two things you need. You need creativity, but you also need structure. And the players know exactly where they need to be to set up to work their magic around the perimeter and then open up the lanes to attack the net. The Islanders have been the more active team offensively tonight with plenty of scoring chances, but they continue to trail because they haven't finished late in this third period. Puts it on net. Stopped by the goaltender. He got a little piece of that one. Goaltender is now at the bench. The extra attacker is now jumping into the play. Well, look at this, Cheryl. Here we go. The parade is officially underway. It certainly is. Frustration, including everyone on the bench, completely deflated right now. A non stop procession to the penalty box for the home team. They've got the extra attacker out here for the face off. Well, they'll be looking for a quick win and advance that puck right to the net. Snatches the puck with a two centerman locked up. And when you're best on best, your players have to respond after a loss. And that's exactly what happened. They've got them now square even. And now it's back to the grind. And it's going to be a real and fun and entertaining series here, James. We know it's going to be back and forth. Well, that brings the night to an end. And we will say goodbye here from Rookside from all of us here at EA Sports. My name is James Sabalski. I got to get to bed. See you.